Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this street hockey passer machine into a baseball launcher machine. Let me show you right now. Let's turn it on. Woo! <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so before we get started, I want to explain briefly about the new battery system that I modified. This is the key component of this launcher. So by modifying the battery system from a six volt alkaline battery, you can see here, this is a six volt system. This is four cells put into it. Originally, that's what it was. And now I modified to a 7.4 volt, 4,000 milliamp hour lithium polymers, or you could also use 7.4 volt lithium ion battery 6,000 milliamp hour. Okay, both of them work really well. And I connect it through JST connector. So on the machine itself, I rewired the circuit. So you have this JST female to male, right? This is connected uh, to the lithium battery. And then you basically just connect the two together like that. And then just turn on the machine and you can see the light is on. And then you just put the ball in there and it's able to launch a tennis ball or a street hockey ball and it works really well. It's very powerful because you can see in the video, it was able to launch the ball at a great momentum and you can angle it any way you want. You need a stand, of course, with a bit of uh, maybe 15, 20 degrees, depending on how high you want it to throw the ball and it works really well. Let me show you right now how I did it. Let's go through the parts and how I assemble, disassemble the uh, hockey system to a baseball system. This is the wire system. Let's see. So if you look at the wiring system, you can see that there we have the positive negative terminal. So I gotta just determine which one is positive here. I suspect this is the yeah, this is the negative, this is the positive. Okay, because it's kind of weird that they have two black wire here, because usually it uh, indicates a negative terminal. But I can feel here that you have this spring that's negative and then you have a flat end that's the positive. So let's do that. What we're going to do, <clears throat> we are going to rewire it. So the negative terminal is here. So let's test this out. Positive, negative, notice the JST connection. Let's turn it on. There we go. It works. See that? The light is on. So it works. Perfect. Now, like I said, normally I would um, solder in, but to save time, I'm just going to do this quickly. Tape it in. There we go. And it's ready to go. So I'm going to put it back. Oops, should be this way. There we go. And turn it on, turn it off. And it's connected directly to my lithium battery. Awesome. Okay, so let's try it out.
All right, so I'm finished now. I now have two baseball or tennis ball launcher. Now the good news is that I didn't have to modify the battery system uh, in a sense that the alkaline battery system is still intact. I can just put the alkaline battery in there and it will still work as a uh, street hockey passer. Or if I want it to be more powerful, I'll connect it to my lithium ion, lithium polymer batteries, that's 7.4 volt. This is 4,000 milliamp hour or the 6,000 milliamp hour. And it will be able to launch a tennis ball or the ball hockey and it will work really well it will throw out and i can just use it as a batting or using as tennis ball launcher it works both way all right so hopefully you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation and i'll talk to you soon bye